Hi to all, welcome to my channel. Today, electrical distribution system subject, what are the important topics? Are you prepared or not? If any topic, if you are not prepared, by seeing this video, you can prepare and write the exam very well. All the best students. This is electrical distribution system according to JNTU Anantapur syllabus. The same syllabus will be for JNTU Hyderabad also electrical distribution system after preparation of entire chapter before tomorrow exam is there you have to see the syllabus if any exam is there tomorrow or day after tomorrow after preparation of every chapter you have to see the syllabus after seeing each topic you have to remember what you learned that is very important suppose unit one in unit one what are the important topics after seeing each and every topic you have to remember or you have to gather the information or in your mind are you prepared very well or not you can test your knowledge by seeing this let us start the video coming to unit 1 that is load modeling and characteristics in unit 1 are you prepared which topic are you left any topic by seeing the syllabus you can able to understand introduction to distribution system load modeling and characteristics coincidence factor so many factors so many definitions you have to remember what is diversity factor demand factor load factor loss factor and what are the relationships between load factor and loss factor are you able to remember or not you have to test by seeing the syllabus after watching the syllabus you have to remember or not you remembered or not you can test your knowledge that is very important if you see the syllabus if you studied load modeling and characteristics or coincidence factor what is coincidence factor it is the reciprocal of diversity factor contribution factor and coincidence factor and demand factor loss factor not only this some relationships what is the relationship between loss factor and load factor that is very important classification of loads finally classification of loads residential commercial agriculture and industrial and their characteristics by seeing this unit one what are the important topics we have to remember is definitely for two marks or some less marks for less marks two marks question or five marks question definitely from the definitions will come what are the contribution factor load factor demand factor for coming to big answer questions that big marks large marks or big marks or 10 marks questions will be from the relationship between loss factor and load factor definitely the question may be come in examination if this question is left then classification of loads another question will come based on demand factor loss factor if you know the definitions based on that some problem may become that is about load modeling and characteristics coming to unit 2 classification of distribution systems what are the important topics by seeing the syllabus you are able to recollect the matter what you studied coming to unit 1 what are the important topics let us discuss now coming to unit 2 classification of distribution system the chapter title is in this comparison between dc and dc classification of distribution system how the systems are classified according to nature of current according to construction according to some special features like a number of conductors according to conductor size according to a construction how they are classified you have to remember recollect the matter and one more thing is DC versus AC it is very important underground versus overhead distribution system which is more costlier underground system is more costlier than overhead system comparison between DC and DC in DC and AC definitely one important point is coming to DC there is no corona loss there is no skin effect in DC there is no skin effect in DC whereas in AC inductance effect skin effect and corona loss all will come 
the comparison also i made a video you can see the link in description or playlist underground versus overhead distribution system by seeing the syllabus requirements requirements and designing features of distribution system what are the good distribution system requirements proper voltage proper voltage or reliability simplicity all will be considered design and features of distribution system design consideration of distribution feeders how the feeders are designed what is feeder what is distributor what is uh, service main definitely small two mass question will come based on feeder ring main distributor what is feeder feeder transmit the power without any tapping from substation to distribution transformer or distribution substation what are the types radial and loop type primary feeder what is the construction if radial is the radial will be like this radiated outwards from the substation the loads will be tapped from that like that radial system mostly employed in india and loop type if there are disadvantages of radial can be overcome by loop type primary feeders the circuit diagram and all you have to remember voltage levels basic design process practice of uh, secondary distribution system 230 volts how we are getting voltage drop calculations in ac distributor among this what are the important points important topics which you must be prepared is comparison between ac and dc and classification of distribution system maybe question may become after that different types of radial feeders radi here the syllabus is not included what are the types of radial feeders but radial phase area feeder radial express feeder like that so many express feeder will come express feeder radial phase area feeder phase radial parallel feeder or loop type primary feeders this will be some important topics 10 marks questions will be come from definitely from radial feeder or the voltage drop numerical problem the power factor referred to receiving in voltage or power factor referred to sending in voltage based on that some 10 marks question will come okay then. what are the important topics in unit 2 is you must prepare radial and loop type primary feeders so many diagrams are there radial phase area that is 10 marks question after that numerical problem based on voltage drop calculation it is very simple the numerical problem how to calculate voltage drop power factor referred to receiving in and power factor referred to respect to load voltages 10 mass motion will come in from this numerical problems coming to unit 3 substations in substations what are the questions what are the topics what you studied and rating of distribution substation with n primary feeders with n primary feeders it is not within with n primary feeders with n primary feeders this question may become benefits derived through optimal location of substations location of substation and by seeing that location of substation where the substation should be located what are the conditions what are the requirements for a good uh, substation layout rating of distribution substation with n primary feeders definitely it will come for 10 marks question or uh, large number of marks will be more for this question benefits derived what are the benefits derived through optimal location the voltage drops will be minimum and what are the benefits you can see point wise the number of our customers affected by a power outage can be reduced if you locate the substation very near to the load center then power outages can be reduced voltage drops will be minimum all this will be benefits and optimal location of substation definitely this must, this may be 10 marks question substation service area or method of optimal locations there is a two methods if you prepare two methods and n service area with n primary feeders then you can able to answer 10 marks question but what is substation what are the classification those will come in two marks question two marks questions will be substations classification the classification of substations air insulated substations 
from classification of substations with n primary feeders definitely 10 marks questions will come another bus bar arrangements another what is bus bar what are the types of bus bars what is the material we are using what are the types of schemes available it is very important it from this also 10 marks questions will come or if you prepare n primary feeders very well then that also may become if any two questions if you know told you have to prepare entire chapter but among those what you know very well those you have to answer from this what are the important topics if you are not prepared these topics prepare at least now also coming to unit 4 power factor improvement it is very easy chapter how the voltage power factor will be improved what are the advantages disadvantages of improvement of power factor power factor improvement is the unit 4 in this which topics you left by seeing the syllabus you can understand voltage drop on power loss calculations already we calculated voltage drop on power loss calculation lines and what is the reactive power capacitor based problem capacitor rating calculation is very important for power factor improvement chapter coming to power factor improvement the reactive power kvr rating of static capacitors this is very important a very important topic it is from 10 marks this question will come what is the capacitor bank rating in star as well as delta that is very important what are the important 10 marks questions will come is kvr rating of capacitor bank and types of capacitors that we connect shunt capacitor and series capacitor 10 marks question will come based on this kvr rating of capacitor bank or what are the power factor improving methods clearly we have to explain by using three ways one is in cast static capacitors synchronous condensers and phase advancers three methods we are using three methods by the use of three methods we can improve the power factor that may be two mass question or ten mass question it is very important it is very important methods of improving power factor and one numerical problem star and delta that is the definitely you have to prepare these two questions by seeing this video after completion of your examination you can be able to identify yes in that video or in that class where what are the important questions one 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 after watching the video then if you know the important topics after after writing the examination you feel very happy that is my motto coming to unit 5 distribution automation is the unit 5 distribution automation what is distribution automation totally scared all will come among this you may get the question may be scared for 10 marks and automatic meter reading distribution automation totally explain what is the block diagram of this distribution automation that may be come for 10 marks for two marks questions entire chapter if you prepare it is very well it is very good prepared prepare total chapter I already made a video on this distribution automation and supervisory control and data acquisition system this scada is very important present days also for distribution of substation automation feeder automation those are also very important substation automation and feeder automation here distribution automation project planning definitions communication sensors rtu rtu but they are not mentioned communication sensors rtu is a very important device and another one is substation automation feeder automation among all those uh, among this will come okay what are the 10 marks questions it is for 10 marks question SCADA or any one topic any two topics a and b they will give that is automatic meter reading or cas or jas or what is SCADA explain SCADA automatic meter reading clearly like the 10 marks questions will come it is very easy chapter and remember the diagrams and topic wise you have to remember 
after that you can easily write the exam by seeing the syllabus if you are able to recollect the matter then your success is 70 percent if you prepare very well or not you can test by seeing the syllabus that is very important all the best students thank you